Today I'm going to show you how to auto flow um, in text boxes set up on a master page with a multiple up. Um, like this situation works best if you're designing tickets or name tags or something like that, that where each design needs like a unique name or number on it. Um, and so the situation I'm going to show you today is a ticket that we did um, and I'm just going to have um, each ticket numbered. Um, so first um, just do the design um, in whatever program you're most comfortable, Photoshop, Illustrator, or whatever. Save it out and then go and open a new document in InDesign. We're just going to do a letter size page because that's the kind of paper we're going to be printing on. Uh, we're going to do quarter inch margins and not facing pages. Okay, go straight to your master page. Go ahead and control D and import your ticket design or name tag design or whatever it is you're doing. Okay, and we're gonna get five of these tickets, just the size that I have here on this page. I'm just gonna alt drag. Um, you can copy paste or you can do a step and repeat, whichever one's quicker for you. Okay, and so we're just going to have the ticket design on its own layer, just so we can lock that. I'm going to go ahead and name it Design, and so I can lock that and do stuff on top of it without worrying about messing any of that. So create a new layer. Uh, this one's going to be for the numbers. And then go ahead and draw a text box for your numbers. Um, the size and shape that you need them. So mine are going to fit over here on the right side of this. Um, I actually want them to be perpendicular to the ticket, so I'm just going to rotate my text box 90 degrees. Actually, the other way. Um, and then make that fit in there. And once you have the text box you want for this design, um, alt drag, copy paste, or step and repeat it for the other tickets. And then we're just going to go ahead and link these um, using the regular flow. Um, so just click on the, this um, part of the box to flow it to the next box. Click that. Click the next box. Do that again for the other tickets so you get all five linked. So right now they're just linked the normal way on that master page. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and go to our pages. Um, so it already has my master A on page one. Double click that page to go to the actual page. Now we're going to go get our numbers. Um, this can be, you know, whatever list you're provided with, whether someone's given you a list of names or numbers. Um, I'm just going to go to this website. I like to use this one, textmechanic.com. Um, you just put in, I want like a hundred numbers unique numbers. So I'll go 1 to 100. I'll pad those with zeros. This is whatever you want. Generate the list. There's my numbers. So I'll just select all. Command A, Command C to copy those. Go back to InDesign. Alright, now this is where we auto flow um, to access that first text box on the, that's actually on a master page. You have to Command Shift click. Now we have that box. Get your text tool. Click in there. Command V to paste in your numbers. Um, and so now it will go ahead and auto flow. Did you see how it it added pages? It'll add as many pages as it needs to to use all of your numbers or names or whatever. Um, and so we actually want these to be formatted so select all. I want to center those. I want to make them white. I'm going to change the font. If you have a character style you could just apply that be real quick. Alright, and I want 
number to be really big. It's a good idea to draw that text box so it's just the size that you want it. Um, so that'll actually flow. It'll bump the next number to the next box if, if that text box is just the size of your number. But there we go. So we have those auto flowed in there. Each ticket has its number. Now we're all set to print and cut those tickets.